G'day guys, my name is Don and you're watching my channel Don Astronomy. Just bought myself a present. It's the Celestron Aluminium Dew Shield for the nine and a quarter inch Schmidt Cassegrain. So this will fit both the Edge HD and the regular SCT in the nine and a quarter inch series. Now, today's video is about installing that onto my telescope. I already have a dew heater ring from Celestron for the nine and a quarter. It's already installed on my telescope, so I'm going to connect the two together. There's connections inside the dew shield to connect to those. So we're going to do that, and hopefully it's just a quick and easy video today. So let's get started. The good old box inside a box trick. That was easy. Try again. Instructions and some stickers. Nothing else in the box. It's sexy. Okay, so there's a cap as well. Didn't realise there was a cap. I thought I might have to use the old cap. There you go. Okay, first impressions. If you're expecting a low sheen, which I probably would have preferred, um, you're going to get a high gloss finish. It does have um, a lovely black matting inside, so it's going to absorb a lot of light, which is good, and uh, keep the dew out as well obviously and I'm trying to look where these connectors connect up to but there they are here over here so we'll get to that all right let's get on with it okay the old and the new the old uh, shield has had its day Okay, so that's the old dew shield that's on there now, and that's the highest that my telescope would ever be. Now, I'll turn my observatory roof on. And I'll just spin that. As you can see, it's extremely close. So, I have to try and make up 65 mil that has to come back 65 mil because the new aluminium dew shield is 65 mil longer than that so there are the cables for the thermistor and the power to the dew heater and they'll line up around this side now that I've rotated the dew ring okay so the idea is to get those Glared up now. I will warn you guys that it is very tight. It is an extremely tight fit. So you'd want to be careful if you're on your hyperstar and you're changing filters. You could easily put the telescope out of whack. There we go. You can hear that snapping into place now. So um, yeah, it is a bit of worry. I, I would imagine if you're changing filters, if you, especially if you're using monochrome on Hyperstar, which most people don't do, but if some people do, and I've done it before, um, that's a concern a little bit. And that's the power connector there, and the thermostat. So. They essentially just push in there like so. And now, and I forgot to mention the cap is actually aluminium too. There you go. There you go, nice snug fit. OK, 
Okay, so my uh, biggest fear has come to fruition and as you can see that is going to collide. It's the same on the other side and it's even worse with the back of the shutter opening. So I have three options. Option one, raise the roof of the observatory. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. So option two would be to um, lower this right down. I'd have to take everything off, cut these bolts right down and lower this as low as it can go. And, and to be honest, I still don't think it's gonna to be touch and go. And it's a lot of work to lower that all the way down and not for it to work. And option three is to cut that distance there off all the way around, um, which is a shame because it's brand new. <laughs> Okay, um, as you can see, I've got, I've got clearance there now, and um, it's essentially, I cut it down to the same size as my old one. So, I'll drive the motor. Now, I should have clearance. Wonderful. Just one more thing to do now. Well, it's a good thing that these decals you put on after, because otherwise I might have been chopping the wood. Okay, I got there in the end. It wasn't too bad. I uh, decided to go with the vibrating multi-tool to cut through the aluminium, did a couple of little tests and I didn't want to use an angle grinder. I didn't want to try and saw it. It was a bit of a rough job. Uh, I didn't want the heat from the angle grinder, so I thought that was a, the best tool I had at hand. I didn't have anything to do a scour or anything like that with it. So it ended up okay, a bit of a clean up. Uh, I got all the uh, fine particles out okay. I was surprised, I expected it to be uh, a lot harder, but it was pretty good. And then I just put it into some sunlight to make sure I got all the last particles. The rubber ring went back around okay. I'll probably get a little bit of glue from town and touch up in a couple of little places just to keep it on. Um, the lid fits nice and snug again and I'm pretty happy overall. So guys, if you got this far in the video, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.